Patrick Cummins. Wow. Was it a left? It was an uppercut. uppercut. A left uppercut right there on the jaw. And Cummins' legs give out. Let's see it again. Boom. Right through the middle. Cummins' legs give out. And OSP swarm. One more time here. Bam. There's the left uppercut. And you look at the legs give out of Pat Cummins. And he caught it. Beautiful job. He when caught Cummins it as he's moving, in. Yeah, yeah. And moving backwards with it while he landed it. UFC victory number six for OSP. The machine is the most important thing. Right. And, and his, his body, his ability to move his body is excellent. Now it's just about learning those techniques. He's out. Oh, it is wow. all over. Open safe oh, through. Wow. This is the position. We know this as the Von Flu choke. And what he's doing is Nikita's trying to use a guillotine while he's in side control. And so Ovince gets a hold of his neck and then drops his left shoulder down, his left forearm behind the neck and his left shoulder controlling the head. And look, Dan Mergliata, very aware of the position. And Krylov is out cold. We rarely see that choke. Excellent balance by OSP. That was nice. And a Good. nice left hand there on the inside. Nasty left hand for the top. That could be it. That's it. That's it. Wow. OSP power. Wow. From inside the guard. Nasty power. Let's check it out. Down. Look how beautiful that is. Use that wizard. Flipped him right over. And inside the guard. Look at Open Slam. This big left hand. Boom. And then another right past the guard. Snuck it right through that opening. Nasty, accurate shots by OSP. Strong position here for OSP. Oh, he's bigger full grip on the right side of Pedro. With three minutes oh, in, the strength that he has. Oh, the the oh the the top. Top. Another Whoa. submission win for OSP. Take a look at this beautiful question mark kick. Clipped him across the head, but it was enough to set up. Oh, that was nice. Clipped him at the side of the head, but fired in the right hand straight after. And then latched onto the guillotine, but I feel like the height of OSP, the, the taller fighter, it was difficult to lock in that, that submission and finish it, get the full elevation that he needed. But nice takedown effort here, reversed by OSP, lands in the top position and then bullies his way over to the top. And when they're dry early in this first round, and you've got a strength of OSP clamped onto an arm, it's gonna be incredibly difficult to get him off that arm. Look at that hyperextension in the elbow. Nothing to left, nothing left to do but tap. Beautiful work by OSP, who establishes himself as one of the best light heavyweights in the world yet again. Now, if Ovinson Pru can get to side control on the opposite side, there he goes, that's the side that he needs. If he can get that on three, he's got the Von Flu choke. Now that would be a third Von Flu choke, which would be amazing. Oh, wow, he's out cold! Ovin St. Pru has done it again! Can you believe that? So let's take a look at this. So Yushin Okami immediately reaches in for the far leg and then pulls half guard. I feel like he expected that first takedown to be defended. But then you can see OSP, he wraps the head and he's very patient. But the, the mistake that Okami made was wrapping over the top of o, uh, OSP's head and then allowing OSP to pass to the opposite side, side control. Look how he's driving his shoulder into the side of, of uh, Okami's neck there. It's a beautiful submission, a very unusual one to catch. Yeah, you can see there, you can see his legs go limp. You can see his arm shakes. Amazing work by Ovin St. Pru. He's finding a, a way to have that. There we go. Beautiful takedown right into half guard. And this is where OSP can slow down. Yeah, and he's also he's choke. also positioning himself for the, the Von Pru choke, which he's wow. locked up here. He actually put yes. the arm over the back of his head. Now he's got no the pass. Way. Now he's driving into the chest. This is where the pressure comes from OSP. If he gets this again, we're definitely changing the name of this submission. Oleg Shaychuk's doing a really good job of showing that he's still in this. Tap he's, tap done it. Wow. he's done it again! Wow! OSP with the Von Pru choke! He took the
the wrist, he fed the arm over his head. So now he knows he's got that left shoulder pressure into the chin of Oleg Shejuk. You see it immediately, Oleg Shejuk panics and he starts to try and alleviate that pressure. But given the fact that he was trapped up against the fence and the fact that OSP is a giant light heavyweight driving into his chin, I mean, what more can you do? 230 pounds driving right into the side of your artery. Something like that, look at that, look at that pressure. Driven up against the fence, arm over the arm over the back of OSP's head as well. So he, you know, he can't alleviate the pressure on the left side of his body. The shoulder of OSP is on the right side of his neck. Inside leg kick is there for Shogun. Maybe a slip there. Shogun got caught. Saint Pru trying to finish this fight. Oh, it's Saint Pru. Saint Pru has done it. Shogun. Not even sure where he is. A quick. Here it is, he got off balance and landed that left hook. Look at that, beautiful. Just fell a little too far forward. And OSP, look at that. Now OSP with the left hook, boom! From a lateral stance. Switched his stance. And switched up the whole dynamic of the fight. Finishing Shogun Hua here in Brazil. The short left hook for Oban St. Fru ends the night.